All right, guys, you're welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so today we're going to be transforming this backdrop using this one. And it's going to really, really look amazing at the end of the day. And the beautiful part of this is that you are getting this background for free. So all you need to do to get access to it is just to join our Telegram community. Yeah, that's a very simple thing to do. Just go to the description of the video. You will see the Telegram channel link there. Click on it, join our Telegram community. I will not just have access to this background, but also to every other thing we have ever given out on that particular Telegram channel and every other thing we will give out in the future. Without wasting much of your time, let's quickly get started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to crop this image to, you know, fit into what I want to create. So I'm going to be cropping it using my uh, 8 by 10 my social media prop ratio. And I think I would like her to be in the thoughts of this frame. So I'll put her in the thoughts like this. Then maybe stretch out a little bit to give her some space in the headroom. Then make sure the content that where is found on, then press OK. All right, so once it's done, I'm going to also do the same thing for my background because I would also want to make sure I have you know, my details properly retained. Now, looking at this, we might lose some part of this flower. If that happens, we have a lot of room here for content aware to work, so we might need to just shift it a little bit. But let's give it a try first. If we lose the flowers, then we might need to improvise. But if we don't, then we'll stick to what we have. Oh, beautiful. This works for me perfectly, except for the fact that we're having some, you know, offshoot over here, which is not a problem. We could just use our clone stamp and beautiful. So once that is done, I'm going to unlock the layer a little bit there. So let's prepare this one for background swap. So I'll select the subject, right click, go to selecting bus. Then I will come a bit closer to make sure that my selection is okay. Then I'll make a duplicate of my, my layer, right click on it, go to layer via cut. So now, if your background is dirty, this is the point where you might need to, you know, clean it up, but we'll have a very clean gray backdrop. So we'll not have to start cleaning it up. So what we'll do is to make sure that our image layer is above every other layer. Then we'll stay on our background layer, pick up, our move tool in the background and drag it over, place it over our object. Now we need to scale it. So we'll place our anchor point where we need it to be and we scale in. Beautiful. So if you need her in the center, you can place her in the center as you are doing your scaling. So she just stays in the middle throughout the scaling process. You need it slimmer, you can just make it slimmer. Suppose it feels like the background is a little bit stretched. So I'm going to keep it like that. This is so cute. So I'll press enter. And we're almost done. But I think the backdrop is quite tall. This is quite taller than her. It needs to be somewhere around here. So we'll place it somewhere around here. And even make it, you know, shorter from up. I'm holding my shift to do this. I know this is quite unprofessional, but it looks good to me, so we'll work with that. So I'll press enter. Now it's time to blend it in. So the first thing to do is to change the blend mode to overlay. Remember, overlay is the only blend mode that takes away everything that's 50% gray. So remember our backdrop is originally 50% gray. So the moment we change it to overlay, it will immediately remove our backdrop. The next thing I want to fix is the lighting and the object is quite brighter than the backdrop. So what do we do? We'll create a black and white adjustment layer. So if you look at it right now, you'll notice that our object is obviously brighter than the background. So staying on our object, we'll create a curves adjustment layer, create a clipping mask, right? And drag it down to match. Then we can as well move our shadows and highlights a little to create that, you know, that kind of cinematic dramatic uh, hard light effect on it. So once we remove our black and white, we notice that the image is dark, but the color is affected. So what do we do? We change the blend mode to luminosity. 
Now it's looking off. So what do we do? We reduce the opacity of the pulse. And this is good. This is so good. Now the next thing we need to do is to match the temperature, the color. So if you look at the image, you'll notice that she's quite warm. Although the background is also, you know, relatively warm, but not as warm as she is. And I feel I need more light on her face. So I'll use my brush to paint in a little bit of, the, or to remove a little bit of the cuffs from her skin, just a little bit, so that she will as well be very, very outstanding in the image. This is a beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a global color grading, right? That will tint us towards a green tone, I think. A very good color grading that will work here is the, uh, what is it called? Something that has to do with green. This is fine if we reduce it. I think I, lo I love the Kodak 5205. This is beautiful. Still popping colors properly represented. So all I need to do is just reduce it. Now, the next thing I need to do is to reduce the brightness of her dress. So holding the, staying on the image, I will go into my filter, go to camera roll. All I need to reduce is just the highlights and the dress comes down. Add a little contrast and add a little explosion. Press OK. And here it is. Beautifully done. So if you feel the thing affected her face, right? What you can do is to match your curves already. Match the layer of your curve and the layer of your object. Then make a duplicate of your object layer. Go to your filter, go to camera ray again. Go to camera ray again. So this is the before, this is the after. But my face is affected. So what do I do? Sorry, all this place is filled up. What do I do? I'll create a mask, right? Then minus it from the face. Minus it from the face. So it just stays only on the bright part of the dress. Minus it from your skin because you actually need that your skin to be glowing. Now, the last step I want to take, because looking at my background right now, it looks like, you know, it's competing with my image. So the last thing I'll do is to create a vignette effect between my background and my image. Then also, I think our shadows are nice. That will be the last thing. Go to filter, go to camera roll. Then screw all the way down to your effect, come down to vignetting, and create just a very tiny vignette effect. Don't make it so strong. Just a very tiny vignette effect to look like, you know, the body is blocking the light from touching it. Then you can bring in the midpoint to the middle, to the middle. then make sure it's not so strong. Press enter. You will see the moment we do that, it separates our object from our background. I will have our object standing out. We'll have our background looking really, really fine. If you feel it's too much that you need to reduce the opacity, still do the same thing we did with the image. Duplicate your background, right? This is already looking uh, like what we don't want. Go to your normal. Take it back to normal. Go to your filter, create the same effect. Then reduce the opacity like this. So once you reduce it, you notice that, you know, the original background starts showing up, which is this one down here. And we'll still have this one, you know, slightly darker to push out our object. Or better still, you can go straight into your camera raw and make the corrections. I didn't like that step. So let's go into the camera raw and reduce the effect of what we did. So come to apply image, Go to apply previous settings to restore it back. Then reduce what you did with the Fignet. Press OK. And boom, you have the image standing out. So this is the image when we started. This is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is the after. I believe you understood everything we did. Let me give you a recap. So first of all, we selected, we cropped our object, placing her in the rule of thoughts. Then we also cropped our backgrounds to be able to suit into the image prop ratio. Then we separated our object from our background. Then we brought in the background, marked the lightning, 
match the perspective, match the color, then created a global color grading using our color lookup table. So the global color grading brings everything together and that is how we came down to this result. The before, the after, the before, the after. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you subscribe, click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Until then, see you on the next one.